Hey guys, it's me, Risa. How are you? Welcome to my kitchen again. I've been busy and I'll show you soon. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget, ring that bell right away so you'll receive all my newest recipes by email. And of course, share with your friends, anybody on a health journey, anybody who loves food. I have all kinds of recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, okay, after a workout, for celebrations, holidays, tips, of course, grocery shopping, and meal planning and meal prep, which you know are key. So I hope you're doing really well on your journey. And uh, I love getting comments. And I love when you even change up my recipes, okay? <sighs> It's great because that's what I do and I get excited and I hope you're excited um, to make different things because that will make your journey easier so that you can have everything that you want resified. That's what I do. I resify the things that I love and then I don't feel guilty because I have things that are low carb, low sugar, low fat and low sodium because that's important um today i've been baking i made my new breakfast muffins um i felt like something chocolate and peanut buttery so it's a high protein chocolate peanut butter muffin check it out on my youtube station and uh, my daughter this is the leftovers of our uh sausage skillet and super easy and delicious you'll love it you gotta try it okay and in the oven, I'm making um, cauliflower popcorn. I know. So what are we making today? Never mind all this. We're going to be making. So I made those cinnamon rolls. So I thought, hmm, let's change it up. Okay. And since I'm on the chocolate peanut butter kick, why not do a chocolate peanut butter and jam? Danish, we'll call it. All right. A low fat, of course. So what are you going to need? You're going to need the way we make our two ingredient dough. So we have the Brody's uh, flour. So one cup, 12 smart points. A cup of plain Greek yogurt, any brand, one cup, zero fat and plain, all right? A quarter teaspoon of some cinnamon. And I can't show you the brand, but I buy this at a bulk store. It's cocoa berry cocoa powder. It smells amazing. Now, get whatever cocoa powder you have and um, check the nutritional ingredients and value. And um, so this is two tablespoons. I'm going to count it as like one smart point because cocoa powder is extremely low. This one is delicious. I got it at John Vince. All right. Um, it's a bulk um, store in Canada, but you find what brand you like. All right, two tablespoons. I'm using Swerve and I'm using a quarter cup, um, any kind. You want to use Stevia, Truvia, Tri Monk Sugar, um, Sucre and Gold. All right, it's up to you and it's only a um, third cup. Yes, a third cup. No, a quarter cup. I lied. A quarter cup. That's all you need. Not a lot, okay? Because it's a Danish. You don't need it too sweet. Of course, my PB2. Two tablespoons is one smart point. And I bought the Smucker's Double Fruit Less Sugar Jam for four tablespoons. Four smart points, okay? I know. Really, really good. Only 20 calories per tablespoon. And super delicious okay it's gonna make the recipe amazing so let's get started oh wait a little splash of vanilla of course um, a quarter teaspoon of salt a pinch and two tablespoons of some um, lemon all right so we'll do the dry ingredients first so we're gonna just take our flour I'm gonna just move my camera up a little bit sorry for that sorry for my hand actually yeah I think that's good all right <laughs> All right, um, so a cup of flour, um, a quarter cup of the swerve sugar, whatever sugar you want. I don't tell you what to use. It's up to you guys, all right? A pinch of some salt. And of course, that's ready. Hold on a second. I don't want my popcorn to burn. 
my cauliflower popcorn. Woo! All right, and I'm going to now put my oven at 350. So I just made yummy popcorn cauliflower. Look at that, check out that recipe. Um, I told you I was busy in my kitchen. All right, and we're gonna add the cocoa. I don't wanna get distracted because you know what happens when I get distracted. It's not good. So two tablespoons of your favorite cocoa, all right? And uh, this is super, super amazing. I love this one. It's called Cocoa Berry. Um, because it's fresh, it's in bulk. So I don't have the package, I know, but I'm going to buy it. I will, and then I'll post it. So you can look it up and see if you can find it. It's Cocoa Berry, B-A-R-R-Y, all right? And let me just make sure. Yeah, Cocoa Berry, Cocoa Powder. All right, that's what it's called. All right. And um, just a pinch of some cinnamon in here too, just about, I'm saying a quarter of a teaspoon, just a pinch. And we'll just whisk that up together, okay? Simple. So I've lined a cookie sheet with some parchment paper already. I'll just put it there. I have my rolling pin and we just mix this in, all right? So flour, cocoa powder, a little bit of, um, cinnamon and some salt a pinch of salt is in here that's it and then in the other bowl we're going to add our well since the lemon's already here we'll just get two tablespoons of lemon juice oh one and two, about two. All right, you have to use your muscles for that. I hope you can see. All right, now I'm just gonna add my yogurt, my plain yogurt. All right, and some vanilla, about a teaspoon or so. I don't usually measure and just mix that. I'll whisk it. Whisk it, baby. Now you can make this ahead of time and you can keep it in your fridge to get hardened. Um, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to make it. All right. And it's fine because I've done that before. And so we've just mixed that in. Now, we're not gonna add anything yet because we're gonna add the jam and the peanut butter um, after we've rolled it out, okay? Because we're gonna make our nice little danish. So, we're just gonna add it. And I'll make sure I have my spatula. Okay. And I keep the flour out because and I don't count extra flour um, that I use if I need to, if it gets a little sticky. Make sure I get all of it. And then I just take a fork. And that's how I mix it together. Always with a fork, okay? Just making sure you can see what I'm doing. So just mix it together, incorporate it all. It just takes a few minutes. And it takes about 30, 40 minutes at 350. You'll check it. You'll know when it's done. So after I mix it for a bit, I'll start using my hand. Okay, so I'm just showing you that I'm mixing it. Incorporate all the flour in with the yogurt. Okay, and then I'll start using my hand. Just a little bit. 
okay just to like sort of fold it and knead it a bit okay and where it's wet that's where I grab the dry there's a method to my madness almost like when you're doing a cook um, a pizza dough okay but you want to get all of it so and I just sort of pat it down just keep flipping it and it just takes a few minutes not long at all to get all the pieces and you'll see that I'll turn it into a ball. All right, and that's it. Okay, I don't know. Some people say, oh, it gets so sticky. It's not sticky at all. It's not bad at all. Look, a ball. So you can either just put this in the fridge. I'm gonna move that away. And we just need the other two ingredients. And I do it right on the cookie sheet, okay? So you can put it in the fridge for like an hour. So it will get a little bit harder. And I just take some extra flour. I sprinkle it on my rolling pin and a little bit on my baking sheet, okay? I hope you can see. Yes, all right. And I just start to pat it down. And trust me, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know when you see all these videos, they look so perfect. Everything's in amazing rectangular shape. I don't know how they do it, but you know, I'm not a, a, like a mate, like, well, I like to be, bake and I'm not really a chef per se. I'm a home baker. So perfection is not important. It's having fun. It's the experience, okay? So I just start in the middle and then roll out and then roll to the side. Just keep rolling it. In fact, I think I'm going to just move it this way. There. You can just roll it and it's thin or as thick as you want it, okay? If it rolls up a little bit, just again, add a little bit of flour. This is not about perfection. Get it as, you know, thin as you want it. And I try to spread it out even just with my hands and it's already on the baking sheet, which makes it a lot easier so you don't have to start transferring it. That's not fun. I've done that before when I was first starting. Rookie move. All right. So let's calculate 12 for the flour, one for the peanut butter, four for the jam, and one for, so 12, 13, 17, and 18. So 18 smart points for the whole thing. So depending on how big you cut them after, we'll determine to divide it into smart points if you're on Weight Watchers or Wellness That Works. I'm always gonna call it Weight Watchers. To me, it's always gonna be Weight Watchers. All right, all right, you know, I, I don't care if it's not perfect. If you're into making it perfect, that is fantastic, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it's a little bit, I know, but it's fine. Okay, a little bit of flour on my hands, in bam, boom. 
and we're going to take our jam, okay? And we're going to spread it. Put some all over, four big tablespoons. And just spread it. Hope you can see, just want to make sure. So I just spread it all over evenly. And if you don't like this kind of jam, the double fruit, and you want a different flavor jam, you can do that. Why not? All right, so I've spread the jam like so. Ba -ba. And now I'm just going to take the peanut butter powder, two tablespoons, and sprinkle it. You want more, you can add more. And I just love the flavor of peanut butter and jam. And this will be good for a snack, for breakfast, for a dessert. And it's super easy and delicious. Now, so now you're just gonna roll it and you just do it, actually, I'm gonna do it this way, the long way, people. And you just take your time, okay? Just roll it over slowly. Sometimes I even just take the paper, that makes it easy. Roll it over. And there, it's a log. Now, when I first made it, I cut it. Not a good idea. Just bake it and make sure that it's in the middle of the pan. I'll just take some of the parchment paper off because it doesn't matter. Put it in the middle. Okay, and you can seal the bottom. And that's it. Um, if you want to put some egg wash on it, I guess you can. I ha I didn't. And then you're going to bake it for about 30, 35 minutes. Dun, da, 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 the magic of making extra. All right, so I kept it as a log. And then once it comes out, let it just sit for a little bit and then cut it into pieces. I told you that, um, like, that's why there's a few huge pieces, um, but because I cut it initially, uh-uh, I didn't like doing that. Everything starts to ooze out. Just leave it in the log, and then you can cut whatever size pieces you want, some bigger, um, a little bit smaller. Let me just show you um, how pretty they are. So they're peanut butter and jam, and my favorite flavors, of course, because... You know, I just love it. And um, you just check it after about 30 minutes. Every oven is different, okay? And I hope you enjoy. They are super yummy. I'm not taking a bite because every time I do, I start to cough. So trust me, they are super delicious. Keep them in your fridge, keep them in your freezer, okay? Um, and enjoy for breakfast, for a snack, for a dessert, okay? And um, chocolate peanut butter and jam danishes. How's that? You like that? I hope so. All right. Tell me what you think. Take care. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye for now.